What's up? Guess who gotten some more records today? I did. And I'm wearing the same shirt as last time. Ah, that's better. This is a band called Destroy the Planet. It's um, my friend's band, Trent, out of Minneapolis, uh, Trent Dutcher. Uh, and his band, Destroy the Planet. So check it out. Anyways, let's go through and let's see what I got today for records. You guys ever heard of a band called The Decemberants? This is one of their albums. I think this might be their second album. And it's called Crane Wife. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Um, I also, I went to, okay, I went to the record store to buy a Decemberants album called Cat, uh, castaway and cutouts or cutouts and castaways but they didn't have that one so i bought this one instead um open it up that's what that's what it looks like there i don't think this is a colored vinyl no it's just it's just your your regular old black vinyl Uh, I also picked up quite a, quite a few soundtracks this time. They were calling my name as I got there. It's also the first section you see when you get to the record store. And I get these at a place called, say it with me, exclusive. Yes. Can I ever get these dang things in? Obviously, if you've seen my videos, you understand my struggle. But we're going to move on and we're just going to live with this for a little bit. Um, little Mermaid. I got it. All right. About the Little Mermaid 30th anniversary. Don't know if this is a colored vinyl or not, but let's take a look. Open her up. Uh, we'll be jamming out to a little under the sea later on. Is this okay? Sorry for the glitchiness, everyone, or whoever may be watching this. The Little Mermaid. And this is also just a standard black vinyl. Um, I did get some fun ones here today, so just you wait, and you will see uh, some of the colored vinyls that I uh, decided to pick up. There was one uh, that I didn't pick up, uh, Reservoir Dogs. It's a clear red vinyl, which I, I might have to pick up later here in the future, but Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. I watched this movie. Um, that's a lie. I watched the first one the other day, uh, and I just realized that this one isn't the first one. This is the second one, but still probably a, a good soundtrack. Um, let's see. Anything fun with this? Ooh, look at all these movies. The Sound of Movies. I might have to look at that later to get some more uh, vinyls. Ooh, this is cool. It's like a clear. It's kind of like a, a beige type color. I'm into it. Totally into it. I love it. Love the colored vinyls. It just, they make things a little bit more exciting and keeps, uh, keeps the collection going. I did hit record, didn't I? Yes, I did. I have a habit of not hitting record sometimes. Sucks. Um, uh, Children of the Corn. I thought, why not? Let's, let's try her out. Oh no, I lost my pick. Let's see what this one looks like. This is a, a horror classic film. Uh, what year did this come out? 1984, I believe, which is my year. It's the year I was born, 1984. Do the math, we'll figure out how old I am. Whatever. <laughs> Not that that matters. Ooh, but it's like this nice gloss feel to it. And I really like that. It smells like upper deck baseball cards. Oh, what's this? Cool. Get a little thing, little uh, interview. That's cool. That's special. Let's see if this looks any different than the standard. Oh, it does. Look at this. Children of the corn. And a child shall lead them. Ooh. This is cool. This is hot. That's what, what the kids say, right? This is hot. This is cool. 
I really like this one. This was the last one I grabbed right before I left. I just decided, yeah, screw it. I'll get that one too. Um, watch me struggle. Boom. Oh, what's next? Another soundtrack. The rest are all soundtracks. Uh, this is The Fly. Um, if I don't know if you've ever seen this movie, but I would recommend you should see it. It has some pretty good, uh, pretty good soundtrack, first off, and then also just visual. You get to see Jeff Goldblum turn into a fly, which is always fun. If you're not familiar with who that is, he was in Jurassic Park. Yes, that movie Jurassic Park. We have that soundtrack already, though. Um, this one I particularly decided to buy because it said it was like this clear kind of who looks like Baja Blast actually. Look at that. I'm excited. I am excited for that one. Mm. Last but not least, this is the one that I uh, I found and I was super stoked for. It is the the Matrix there, the Matrix. And this has three different records in there. They are green, just to kind of give the uh, give the surprise away. I apologize. I'm just giving things away. But uh, open it up here. Oh, goodness. It opens up this way. Oh, look at that. It opens up three ways. Look at that. What? That's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty cool there. You want to see one? I know you do. I know you do. This is, so there's there's three records in there. Uno, dos, tres. That's three. Um, oh, look at that. It's kind of like a sparkly green. Oh, that's good. That's cool. That is cool. Which one do I listen to first? And for the, the few people that do watch this, if there's a soundtrack you think I should buy, put it in the remarks down below and don't forget to click like and subscribe so you can see all my silly record videos and, and whatnot. So I want to say thank you for watching and that is about all I got for you today and I'll talk to you guys later. Happy Tuesday.